watches. So, uh, I was talking to them. Oh, God, I do. <laughs> How do you get so lucky you got a tan line and a widow's feet? This is bull. Check it out. Naked. Fits perfectly. <laughs> I didn't think about that either. He's, so, got a, he's got a church window <laughs> on his forehead. When I got the cuts in the medical. So, what exactly is this? And what purpose does it serve? We're back on the ginger snap hill. And today, this week, our goal is to get this rear end factory suspension out. And we're going to go back with torque boxes. Uh, we're doing torque box upgrades, uh, shock, and since we have coilovers, we're going to do a relocation for the coilovers um, with these UPR weld mats that we got. Uh, UPR hooked us up. They, we did a full UPR front suspension, um, front K-member, plan, river, steering, manual steering rack, and now we're going to go UPR in the rear. And then we have Detroit Speed mini tubs that we're going to get in, uh, put in as well. So we're going to mini tub this as well. So we picked up our Detroit Speed Mini Tubs from LMR. Uh, we've got, we're kind of we're kind of lucky, we're kind of blessed and lucky with uh, LMR because these guys are literally five minutes from us, and they have a massive warehouse full of all Mustang Fox body parts. And so we're able to drive down there, get what we need, come back. Those guys take care of us. Uh, we enjoy working with them. So. But, uh, so yeah, that's the goal. And we're gonna see how far we can get tonight and pick up. I've gotta fly out to El Paso in the morning. I've gotta leave at four o'clock and it is now seven. And I wanna have this out and at least grind it before I leave. So I gotta leave here at 4 a.m. to go fly to El Paso to drive back to get here in time to get back to work on it tomorrow as well. So. What? If I leave and you see me in different clothes and I look like I got beat up by a mongoose, that's why. <laughs> Also a very important piece of information is, is when you're doing these, when you're doing rear suspension work, framework, fabricating and stuff like that, you have to have the proper PPE. Today I wore my steel toe flip flops. <laughs> Dogs out they for are free? So, <laughs> if you have a problem with it, keep it to yourself. get to use our brand new snap-on transmission jack. I bought this jack, paid twenty thousand dollars for it, just for this build right here, so we could use it for a rear end. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my brother-in-law, Paul. Paul's the after. Like, they look like a before and after of a product that didn't work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Like, this is what Walter goes into the strict club looking like, and this is what he comes out looking like. Oh, God, yeah. Anyways, Paul is my brother-in-law. Paul is the uh, world-class fabricator. Um, he's built thousands. Um, pipes. Pipe. He, 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 he don't do s. 
for cars, motorcycles, taxis. So he can weld the pipe, but he can't lay it. Right. We're gonna put the pipe, and he's gonna weld the pipe. I think me and me and James will lay the pipe. He, he's he gonna can, weld the pipe. He can weld That's how you change the springs on the Fort Grandma. There you go. Ashes look. There you go. That works. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> My rock hard abs caught it from hitting anything else. It didn't hurt though. <laughs> here essentially what we've done is we have removed uh, all of the factory mounting points and plates from the body so we can install stronger more adjustable uh, mountings and brackets that we can essentially play around with a little bit more adjust suspension height stiffness rebound it just gives us more options and then also it can handle a lot more stress for the application that we're going to be using this for. Uh, what we're actually going to be replacing that factory we're in with, here we have 8.8 .8 out of a Fox body. Because this particular Ford Fairmont has a lot of factory hardware that it shares with the Fox body, as well as dimensions, a lot of Fox Body parts are going to be used for this, and since Fox Bodies have an immense amount of aftermarket support, this is actually not going to be as difficult Camera. as you would expect. Right. <laughs> everything that we just got accomplished it took me a couple days but it's done almost we're still waiting on the mini tubs to come in because the ones that we got from detour speed aren't gonna work because we kind of cut out a little too much it's okay um, we also decided that we're gonna notch the frame in the rear so we can try to fit a little bit more fatty in the back you know we all like them fat in the back so that's what we're gonna try to do with that um, Next episode should be us doing that, and then possibly, not gonna promise, but possibly test fitting the powertrain with the 10 speed bolted up and everything. Cause we already got all the mounts and everything to go with it, we just haven't done it yet. I wanted to get the suspension and all that done first, make sure all that was gonna work. Next episode should be the mini tubs welded in, shocks mounted, cause we didn't get the shocks done yet. Um, gotta, I think we're gonna wait on the wheel package to make sure everything's gonna clear. We are, we are gonna notch the frame, plate it, box it, do what we gotta do on that. Then we're gonna try to test fit the power plant and the transmission to make sure it all bolts up and we have enough, make sure we have enough trans tunnel. And then I guess from there, it's on to the, all the wiring and molt, bolting everything up and getting the headers put on. Then we gotta make a phone call to our friends down that direction at Whipple because can't not put a Whipple on a coyote can you one more thing we 
are taking the transmission down to Midnight Performance in Houston. They are going to do a build for us for it. Uh, those guys down there have been super, super cool, super nice. So we're gonna go down there, drop it off, probably spend a couple days down in Houston, figure out what we're gonna do down there. And then after they get done, we bring it back and then we'll put it in and then we'll go from there. So stay tuned, we got a lot more coming. Yo, editor here to remind you guys, those buttons down below, they're free. Be sure to like and subscribe. It helps us put our videos out there in the algorithm. It helps us bring you guys more of what you do love. And also remember, at 1,000 subscribers, we will be giving away one free cam kit to one of you guys. All you gotta do is subscribe. So, also, be sure to hit that bell icon and turn on notifications so you never miss a single post. And we will see you guys in the next one.